Hey everyone, I'm back from vacation, which is good. It's good to get back into this rhythm. And I am back here with Hannah, and I understand that she has promised you a big reveal moment. Is that right, Hannah? This is that moment. We're gonna reveal yeah. something right now. Right now. So, um, what we wanna reveal is that um, we have deep faith in this congregation to do really important spiritual work. This is, what we're going to reveal is not something that's easy or light. It is not a party. It is not a festival. It is something that is going to demand a lot from us spiritually mm -hmm. and intellectually and as a community, right? Yes. Socially. So, do you want to say it or should I? I think you should say it. Okay. So, this year, we are going to be participating in a film dialogue series that is put out by the Episcopal Church called Sacred Ground. The reason that this is not a party or a festival or something like that, um, it's heavy. Uh, Sacred Ground is a really heavy series. It's got great folks that have put it together. We'll tell you more about the sources and the content. But the purpose of this is to speak openly with other people of faith in our community around issues of race. Issues of race are hard for most of us to talk about. Being a white female, it's really difficult to talk with other people about race because I have so much privilege, which I'm really just coming to understand parts of that now as an adult. And yet we want to do this. We know that it's right for the congregation and it's right for the world and for the children and young people that we work with, that we do mm -hmm. um, some heavy lifting in our spiritual lives and in our community. Mm -hmm. So we are going to begin this dialogue around films and books and content, and it's not just content about history and historical perspectives between black and white, if you will, so-called race, as Bishop Eugene said yesterday in his wonderful sermon that we should completely link to this big reveal announcement. Can you make that happen? Maybe. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> so watch the YouTube, watch the YouTube video of Bishop Eugene's sermon from yesterday at 1115, mm -hmm. which Hannah recorded. It was great. It was powerful. Yep. Um, and there's only one race, human race, and yet racism is absolutely real and we want to learn more about our own stories. So what I like about this series is it also invites us to look at our own family background mm -hmm. and our own cultural background and weave that into the historical dialogue um, so that we can grow and incorporate all that together, right? Mm -hmm. What am I missing? It is going to be kind of in the middle, the workload. Let's talk about the workload a little mm -hmm. bit. Everyone's mm -hmm. interested in homework. So it's gonna be more work than just showing up on a Sunday morning mm -hmm. for adult forum and having great discussion, but it won't be as heavy a workload as EFM. So you will be expected to watch some kind of film or documentary, mm -hmm. read something, and then we will come together to discuss it. This is not a weekly class, it is a monthly class, so you will have lots of time to do this homework. And we want to come prepared so that we can have great dialogue about it to include our personal stories and our wonderings and our shock and our nervousness and our itchiness and uncomfortableness around this topic. So the content was put together by a white woman who's a descendant of folks who profited from slavery in Rhode Island. And she wrote a book called Traces of the Trade, which mm -hmm. took a journey back to Africa and understood how even folks in the North were complicit in the enslavement of people from the African um, continent. And so her work is really powerful. She is also an ordained person and is very thoughtful. And I'm excited because I really trust her work and her scholarship and how she approaches this. She's very honest. She's a historian and a truth teller. And I'm looking for, and I love documentaries. I really, and I don't watch enough documentaries and films. So this is a good mm -hmm. excuse um, for me to stay a little more current. One thing that makes this different than other things is it's written from a white perspective for white people. Okay. So that's what makes it a little different. It's put out by the Episcopal Church by a white woman, as you just said, mm -hmm. and it's written for white people to help them, um, us, us, help <laughs> us, I am also being a white person, help us kind of dig into this topic. So what if somebody's not white? 
what if somebody does not identify as white? Can That's they so join okay. us? Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Absolutely. Good. Um, I want to be completely honest. This uh, topic makes me very hesitant when we decided to do that. I have a lot of other things that I could be doing and learning, right? In my life and with my boys, there are lots of other things that I need to be doing and could be doing, but I think this is the moment. I think this is the moment that I need to take a look at this so I can raise white boys. Yep. So I can raise them up and to know how to talk about this and to have wrestled with it myself before I can teach it to them. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous too. Um, but maybe not that nervous because I trust all of you and whoever signs on and I trust the materials and I know uh, I'm a little nervous only because sometimes we get in these groups and you know buttons get pushed and we can't always control that or change that and so um, what I do know after being with you all through other difficult conversations in this place in this congregation is that when we do come together and we pray and we trust in God and we seek to understand something of um, what it means to be God's people more fully, that God is present and we learn and we grow. And those are, there's some moments like that in my past in this congregation that have really pushed me forward in terms of a deeper understanding of what it means to be a human being created and loved by God with other human beings created and loved by God. So I'm nervous as well because um, it stretches me but I'm also really eager because this has been something I've wanted to do for a while and I'm glad this content and this dialogue series is out there. So it's called Sacred Ground. Mm -hmm. Hannah is going to figure out how to get you to sign up. So you're going to sign up on a Google form that will be linked either to this video or in the next post after this video. We'll have to see. Um, and I, we're hoping we're hoping to have enough people to do two groups. One that meets during the week on a Tuesday morning and one that meets on a Sunday afternoon once a month. And the first meeting, we will meet all together, all the people, for a day retreat on September 29th. Excellent. Excellent. And can people do this that are not worshiping members of this congregation? Is it open? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Great. You do need to be able to get online with the links, help with the links, and to watch the videos. So there is a little technical part to it. Mm -hmm. That's really the only thing that you'll need to be able to do. Good, so you, if you are eager to do this, or maybe even nervous or hesitant, but have some longing in your soul to do this important spiritual work and join us on this journey uh, to some sacred ground, we hope that you will sign up on that Google Doc and mark your calendar for all the dates that would allow you to be with us. Uh, invite somebody else to come and join us as well. It sounds like the only hurdle really uh, that you have to come over is the technology hurdle. So if you can do that, there's no cost to this. There's, there's no, no expense. It's free. And we really uh, hope that you will pray about joining us. Thank you. And thank you, Hannah, for helping us be organized enough to do this. That's the big reveal. Hope you'll join us.